What's up, everybody? Josh or Miho here. I hope everybody's doing good and well and stuff. I got an album review to do for you, and I'm going to show it to you right now. This is the new album from the band Infernion, entitled The Cancer Within. This is released on Black and Blue Records. Now, if you're not too familiar with this band, they are based out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And the best way to describe the sound of this band would be a very sinister, blackened, melodic style of death metal. Uh, the first time I had ever heard this band was a couple of years ago with their second full-length entitled um, Genesis to Nemesis. I thought that album was just a whole bunch of crazy. Uh, just some really awesome death metal musicianship. Had that really sick Florida style. I mean, if you think of Obituary or Morbid Angel or, or maybe current day Cannibal Corpse with some really wicked symphonic sounding stuff, the usage of keyboards, something very different, but I thought they pulled that off very well. They're even, even the, the cover song that they did with the uh, odorous Arungus of Guar reaping death. That was something that they're pretty well known for, but I thought they were pretty sick with that. Um, yeah, but, uh, it's been three years since that last full length album. There've been a lot of changes within the, the band lineup different direction, different styles, different ideas, and now we have the third full length from them entitled The Cancer Within. It's eight tracks, and it clocks in at around 37 minutes in length, and from the minute you put this album on, you already are going to be fully aware that this is a little bit of a change and shift in direction for the band, both on a musical and lyrical standpoint. But for what it is and what they decide to execute with this album, I think it's pretty damn solid, and I think it's some very entertaining stuff here. Uh, the guitar playing on here is pretty much the usual type of Infernion guitar playing. Very intricate, very well executed, and very well played. Uh, take the opening track, Deflower. Just some of the riffs that are being executed on that song are just really, really nice. I'm enjoying the way the guitars are played, the interplay, just the way the riffs are delivered. It is very heavy sounding stuff. Even the solo work is very good, too. Very nicely done and executed. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, James Murphy, uh, the revered James Murphy, of, uh, of uh, who played in Death and Testament and many other great bands of the day, uh, he did, some, he did uh, production work on this album. He did the production work, and he does some solos on the tracks, Into Absurdity and Undying. Really well done solos from him, as far as he's concerned. But the overall guitar playing on here is pretty well executed. Uh, the bass is great too. I just love the way the bass tone is throughout this album. It's very, the tone is just well suited throughout the entire record. It definitely suits itself very nicely. I want to say on the track, Emaciated Dreams, you can hear some very well played bass tones going on with that track. But I think it's very well played and it definitely has its place amongst this entire record. Um... The drums on this album are played very well. I enjoy the way that everything is played. The fills, the blast beats, the the cymbals, the kick and snare. Everything has a very clean and well-polished type of feeling when it comes to the drums. And I think it's very well suited here. This is a band that definitely showcases itself to want to have a very nice and clean sound. Not too clean or too polished, but I think it's definitely something well, well played and suited for, for this type of band. And the drum work is very sensational here. Uh, and going back to what I said earlier about this band having a bit of a symphonic keyboard type of edge going on here, the keys that are being used on here are very good. Um, not as dominant as I would say on the last record, but here I think the keys definitely do have their moments to shine, and I think it's very well suited for what this band is setting out to do. And um, vocal-wise... Of course, if, if anybody who keeps up with metal news or keep, keeps up with everything, the guy that used to sing for this band is now the current singer for Vital Remains, and he is on tour with Vital Remains right now for a tour with Vader, an execration going on right now. So, mad congratulations to him for wanting to get involved in Vital Remains. But now we have a new singer, and I would, I would say this guy has some good pipes to him. He's got some really good pipes in his voice. Um, I'm digging the fact that he isn't that he that he doesn't stick to just one sound. He has a very wide variety of voices, very guttural, very understandable. Um, kind of a bit of a hypocrisy type of edge to it. 
uh, modern day hypocrisy, I might add. Uh, just the way that he delivers his lows and his highs. Uh, going back to Deflowered, I think that's a very good ex example of how he can do his voice. Some very well delivered vocal patterns. And going to the track Ash, which is a song that definitely reminds me of previous Infernion releases. That's, that's a song that definitely showcases both musically and vocally some very awesome moments. And uh, lyric-wise, it's a lot different than previous Infernion records. There's a little bit of a vast change, kind of a kind of a kind of a bleak look at humanity, so to speak. That's the way things are in some of the lyrical, of, as far as the lyrical content of this record is concerned. It's a lot. It's vastly different from the last record, but still, I think it's very well executed. I enjoy the lyrical content and vibe of this record. So overall. This is a solid piece of, uh, of death metal. I don't know what kind of death metal you want to refer to it as. I mean, there are cases where it does feel like this is like it's mellow death, but there are the instances where it just sounds straight up like black and death metal. Kind of divided, if you will. But I think it's a very solid record. I enjoyed it a lot. Very much different from the past Infernion releases, but then again, this is what they wanted to do, and I think they executed pretty, pretty, pretty well, if you ask me. So, if I had to pick any favorite tracks, I would definitely have to say the, the opening track, "Deflowered," "Emaciated Dreams," "Into Absurdity," um, and uh, "Ash." Definitely some choice tracks for me. So, I'm going to show you the album again. This is "The Cancer Within" from Infernion. This is released on Black and Blue Records. Check it out if you like, and I'm going to give this a solid eight out of ten. Awesome album, some very good moments, some really nice musicianship going on. So, uh, yeah, check it out. I'm going to conclude this review. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for coming on my channel. And until the next time, Army Hill out.